Welcome back everyone to the continuation of our prefab builder series. This is a bit of a special one because this is the one where people say, hey, but I want to make a trader. How do I make a trader? Show me things. Well, that's what I'm going to show you today. Let's start off by getting a nice big box of some description and sticking down some terrain. I'm going to press U and I'm going to type in ter for terrain, but why not uh, kind of up our game instead of using this topsoil terrain filler let's click on this little button dev blocks on and pick this one with a little white triangle next to it this is an adaptive terrain filler and this means that if i overlay this and i press l i get exactly the same forest ground press a backspace to get rid of that and uh, it means that if we're in the desert this is now going to become sand this is adaptive so this kind of should be your default when making your POIs. Let's press escape and never forget on the level tools options to move up our ground to make sure that this is all level and gorgeous and then get rid of all those annoying dotty little things that I'm sure somebody will whinge about in the comments. So here we are. Um, let's pretend we've built something and we want to uh, we want to have a trader here. We want this to be a trader. Well, um, the mistake that I think everyone makes at some point in their prefab building career is they go, oh yeah, I know. I press F6 and then I type in trader and we've probably all done this on our server in a game at some point and got very annoyed with it and said, yeah, let's get some Bob in here. I want them to look at me and I want a Bob right there. Yay. Hi, Bob. And your trader that you've built all looks lovely and you've got a lovely Bob there and you talk to him and you can see it all and you think that's great. But guess what? He will not appear. This is just a random trader that you're placing just the same as if you're to press F6 and you are going to spawn a zombie. And if you've also noticed, they're a right pain to remove these things. It's a lot more complicated than we need to even bother going into today. But if you do press F6, this is a little sideline here. Um, somebody commented on a video from like two years ago. And they said, what does static spawner and bio spawner mean? And well, come on, clever clogs. Tell me in the old comments. I think that if you spawn from the dynamic spawner, the one that I've only ever done, this doesn't really count to these guys here. Once you spawn these things here, you've destroyed the place and you've, you've, you've put one in. They're very annoying. But let's say you were going to go for a bit of a zombie. So let's get a bit of a zombie. Hey, up, love. Um, if I put it into a dynamic spawner, then they're going to appear. And I can have a good fight or whatever. But if I leave the chunk, if I disappear and go elsewhere, I should come back. And I believe that they will be they'll be gone because they're just dynamic. They're a dynamic spawn. Whereas if you were to spawn something, oops, Daisy, F6, with static spawner, I believe that you could go away and then come back and they're still gonna be there. Biome spawner, not sure, but it must be something to do with the biome. So I'm guessing if you spawn them in the desert and then you stay in the desert, they're there or They'll only stay in the desert, and if they cross into a different biome, they disappear. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, you help me. Shut up, love. Let's get rid of her with a control and then full stop on our numerical keypad. Press it again to completely get rid of her because she's a right noisy one. So how do we get rid of this guy? Well, we could like highlight and press J. Nothing happens. We think, oh, let's control Z and nothing happens because it just kind of gets rid of the last thing I did. And you are not a thing. You're just an annoyance. Ugh, that's absolutely gross. So I'm not even going to go there today. I'm just going to go create new prefab. We're going to discard changes. And then we're just going to quickly do this bit again. So let's pretend that we have something uh, gorgeous and well built here, which obviously this looks like. I'm going to, of course, bring up my ground level and get rid of it. I am, yes, going to get some variable block. Let's pretend we're going to make something. But to get the trader down, we're going to go to the creative menu and we are going to type in trader. And we're going to get this little block here, the trader spawn block. And this trader spawn block is just a mannequin, which we can rotate and we can put in any direction we wish. And we're going to place them down. Now, what trader is this? Well, examining all of their assets, I don't really know. But I fancy a bit of gen action. So I'm just going to get my cursor and you just place your cursor at any appropriate area. And then you hold down this kind of very annoying to work out key combination left shift 
left alt and then whilst holding those two down you hit the right click on your mouse button and up comes this menu here and by default it's Joel you can pick whatever one you want so let's click on Jen and then find the incredibly small OK button and click on this now this is a Jen let's get these variable blocks and put a few round her just to see you know just to have a bit of a go here and then we are going to be able to you know test this out I hit debug tool I hit play test I better of course give it a save in fact I was about to show you this but actually let's say we wanted to put in a volume there's a couple of volumes we're going to deal to with today and that is the teleport volume or the trader teleport volume and the wall volume and let's just say I want to put a wall volume in so you can't jump up behind her and look at her bottom so like the like they do in the normal ones so I hit wall volume absolutely nothing appears if you ever click in these buttons and nothing appears it's most likely because you haven't saved the damn thing yet so I'm going to call this AAA uh, underscore just so it doesn't spawn when I'm making maps and I'm going to call it test trader i'm even going to learn how to spell the words and uh, i'm going to hit save now we'll be able to get these volumes to appear but as i said let's quickly just check that this works so spawning on in there she is behind the desk in our little test world we walk up and that mannequin has become jen and we can talk to her and get on with everything but we can jump up behind her we can see everything that we're not meant to see so therefore we need to kind of block this out. We need to make sure that this is actually a trader because this currently is not a trader. And uh, we want to have those, some little volumes. So when we walk in here at night, we get thrown back out into uh, the zombie filled land around us. Right, so what do we need to do? As I say, we've made sure we save this because now when we click on things, we're going to be able to put some volumes down. Now, one thing we can do is put a wall volume down and uh, holding shift G, I can make this um, different sizes and whatnot. But if we put a wall volume down on something uh, such as this area here, it means that we will not be able to walk through this. It's going to be solid to us, so we won't be able to get to Jen. We'll just do this little bit just so you can kind of see what goes on there. And then also we're going to let's quickly put a second one in here. Uh, wall of volume and we're going to take this one and I'm going to reshape this shifting a G just so it's only one little block thick as such not too long here let's make it quite long so it nips outside and I'm going to place this just here so two of them going to go on top of this um, right hand side box and then also some of them just happen to hang about in midair. Let's see how that kind of acts in our game. We make sure we save, we get to our play tester and find out what's going on. So as we approach Jen now we think oh yeah let's jump over and see her but we have this large invisible section that's getting in our way. On the side here we can still jump on here so it doesn't stop you jumping up on on top of things but of course we now have this extra bit that goes on a bit too far so we've got to kind of lay these out correctly but this is an interesting one because I've always thought is there a way in some POI I could make some kind of invisible blockage something interesting even though this is only used normally for the traders could I make some kind of invisible maze or something like that I don't know a prefab to be made one day so it looks like a trader, smells like a trader, has all the curves of a trader, but it's not exactly a great trader, but there's a few things that we need to do. Firstly, you need to make your trader the right size. Open up an existing trader and make sure you're making it the same kind of size. You know, it doesn't have to be, it might be for a different kind of project, but it's best to just start off by building these things the right size so they can kind of fit into the game you know in a, in a tile as such but for now this this will do let's press escape and uh unfortunately it's not a trader because if we go to level tools and we hit prefab properties then you 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 could put this you could make this just a normal poi not, not necessarily a, a trader trader you could uh have a trader in a normal poi which is kind of an interesting way of doing it they could be kind of hiding at the back of some kind of POI where you're fighting through and and having to you know 
go into the middle of the town into a shop and you could find these guys at the back which is interesting um but if you want some questing going on i think you've got to hit the old trader button here you're gonna hit save but the main thing is that you need to go into the xml editor let's before we do anything let's try and get a teleport because we want to kind of fill this up so if you stand anywhere on here you're going to teleport out of it at night so let's go to this and hit teleport volume and we get a failed failed trader area must be set equal to true in the xml and this is what i'm talking about to be an actual trader you need to go to your prefab properties and you need to hit open in open xml in external editor now if i do that it opens it up in notepad plus plus it might be notepad for you but whatever you do you're looking for this line right here which is property uh, of this property the name is trader area and the value is false with a capital f i want to turn this to true with a capital t and i'm going to hit control um s control z i was about to say control s to make that all saved and lovely and if i tab back in here and then I think, brilliant. Now I'm gonna put in one of these teleport volumes. It comes up with the same deal. You've gotta make sure that you hit save, and then when you hit teleport volume, it still doesn't do it. And you're like, what is going on? Well, we've got this open. And the problem is, is if you're using Notepad++, as many people do when they're prefab editors, then, it's going to be an issue. It says it's been modified by something else. So I'm going to hit that. Look at that. It's turned back to false. So I'm going to hit true again. I'm going to hit save. I'm going to close this. I'm going to close the whole damn program. I'm going to hold the, I don't want it. I don't even want it to affect things. I'm then going to go straight away and hit save. And now I'm going to hit, let's have a teleport volume. Still, still issues. So I've come out of the editor and I've opened up Explorer and I've gone to my user directory app data roaming seven days to die and local prefabs and within there i can see the aaa underscore test trader blocks so when i edit xml just 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 out of pure habit i don't bother going through the prefab properties in game i don't start messing about and opening it and editing it and stuff i just like to have this kind of independently opened via explorer itself i, I don't want to i don't want to mess about here and if i change this to true with a capital t and i save this and i close it completely if i open it again it says true now all right it's decided to save it there's no overwriting or this program's in charge of this file and this one isn't all of that's gone so now when i go to my editing tools and prefab editor and i open this up it's reading that xml so I would absolutely advise when you're doing XML editing, even though I'm sure lots of people are fine with it and it all works. For me personally, I just do, I, I leave the editor and then I, I, I just directly edit what I need to edit and then go back in. It just makes my life a lot easier. So now we're going to open up back to our little trader testing kind of deal here and now at last hopefully i can click on volume tools hit on teleport volume and up comes a little purpley box and you can make these all your sizes and shapes that you want but the idea is that you create a zone or several different zones where this box here um ends up kind of just protecting the trader and if anyone goes into this area or, or tries to do anything kind of crazy then they walk into this area and if it is the uh night time then they're going to be teleported away obviously you want to have you know walls and things and doors and stuff and if you just want them standing in the middle of nowhere you don't want this short enough that somebody doesn't get teleported away but can still interact with the character so have a think about that but that's the basics of what we do and of course don't forget just to kind of get full clarification show options we can make these things disappear but there we go why don't you go away and have a go at making a trader or shove a trader in your poi for a laugh hide them away in a cupboard or something have a thousand zombies fall on your head when you talk to them i don't know in the end it's all good fun and maybe we just need a few more hidden funky traders for surprises for players that's always going to be good fun so thank you for watching today we'll just stare 
you know, uh, Jen's beautiful eyes here. And uh, I'll say thank you very much. A couple of videos will pop up. Um, you know what it's like. I'm a busy bee with work, so these videos come out whenever I get a, a chance. But, you know, your support, your core support, the people who are watching these videos, you are the people that make a difference. And thank you very, very much. There's a couple of things. Click on something. Do so. Oh, we'll hit all the nice buttons. You know, have a great day and, you know, just enjoy yourself. I'll see you later. <laughs> Goodbye.